Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this beam and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. This is the overhanging beam in which the two portion of the beam is overhanging. The one overhanging portion of the beam has been loaded with a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter over the distance of 3 meter. The other portion of the overhanging portion of the beam is also loaded with a 2 kN per meter load over the distance of 3 meter, while the mid portion of the beam is no load. So, first of all, we have to find out the support reaction and then we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So, let's consider this is support A and this is support B and they have the reaction RA and RB. As there is no horizontal load, so we don't consider any horizontal reactions for the hand support. Now to find out the support reactions, it consider that the summation of moment at point B is equal to zero. All the moment about point B will be equal to zero and the clockwise moment is taken as positive while the anti-clockwise taken as moment is taken as negative. So RA will create clockwise movement about point B. So RA multiplying with the moment arm, moment arm for the RA is 6 meter. This is the force and this is the moment arm. Now again the moment of this load due to this load, there is a distributed load, so it will also create the moment about point B. So this is 2 kN per meter load, so we have to multiply this with 3 meter in order to find the concentrated load. So 2 multiplied by 3 but this load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, this load. So about point B, so we have to take it negative, minus 2 into 3 multiplying with the moment arm. Now moment arm for this load will be, this load will act at the center. So it will be the half of 3, half of 3 will be 1.5. So up to this distance it will be 1.5 and then adding with this 6 meter. So the total will be, 7.5 1.5 plus 6 so because 1.5 is the dividing 3 by 2 and the other is the 6 so the total moment arm for this load will be 7.5 now also this load will also create the moment about point B and this is acting in clockwise direction about point B so it is again positive so 2 into 3 multiplying with the moment arm in this case the moment arm is 1.5 because it will act, the concentrated load will act at the center of this 3 which will be 1.5 from this point up to the point B. So now the summation of all forces, summation of all moment at point B is equal to 0. So RA6, 6 RA will be equal to if we add and multiply these values and shift into the right side, this comes out to be 36. So, Ra will be equal to the 36 divided by 6 is equal to the 6 kN. So, it means that the support reaction of the Ra is 6 kN. Now, what will be the Rb? So, we can find by this equilibrium equation where the summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. We can use three equilibrium equation in order to find out the support reactions for a determinant beam. Either the summation of moment is equal to 0 are taking the vertical forces summation equal to zero or the summation of horizontal forces equal to zero. So with the help of these three, this is first, second and third. With the help of these three equations, we can find out the support reactions and can solve our static determinant problem. Now, summation of vertical forces equal to zero. And let's suppose the upward force is taken as negative and the downward force is taken as negative while the upward force is taken as positive. So the upward forces we assume RA is acting upward and the RB is also acting upward. So RA and RB is taken as positive while the downward forces are this distributed load 2 kN per meter and also this load. So this, this will be 2 into 3 because it is distributed over the distance of 3 meter. Again 2 multiply with 3 as there are 2 distributed load. Summation of vertical forces are equal to 0. So now I will transfer this, these all values into the right side. So we get 
सिक्स प्लस सिक्स माइनस आर ए सो आर बी इज इक्वल टू दी ट्वेल्व माइनस आर ए इज सिक्स सो इट इज सिक्स किलो न्यूटन इट मीन्स दैट बोथ द सपोर्ट रिएक्शन हैव द सेम मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ सिक्स किलो न्यूटन सो फर्स्ट वी हैव फाइंड आउट द सपोर्ट रिएक्शन विच आर इक्वल इन ए मैग्नीट्यूड सिक्स किलो न्यूटन इन सिक्स किलो न्यूटन these are equal because if you look into the symmetry of the beam this is the same magnitude load acting on this side of the beam and also the same magnitude load and acting on this side of the beam so of course these reaction will be in same magnitude so we find out their support reactions first of all now i will draw the free body diagram again for this beam let's suppose this is a free body diagram for this beam this is 6 kN this is 2 kN per meter and this is again 6 kN and this is 2 kN per meter now this this is this 3 meter this is 6 meter and this is 3 meter so now i will draw the shear force diagram from this from this free body diagram of the beam so first i have to draw the reference lines so these are the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment diagram now let's suppose this is the reference line for the shear force and this is the reference line for the bending moment diagram this is will be the shear force diagram and this will be the bending moment diagram so and these are the zero zero reference line now starting from this point this point so this load is acting in downward in downward direction and this is 2 kN per meter so this will of course acting downward so i will draw the shear force in negative direction because this is acting in downward way so 2 multiply with 3 will be the total load acting on this side of the beam 2 into 3 is 6 so i will move this value up to the 6 Minus six. So this is minus six kilonewton. The shear fo force is drawn in the unit of kilonewton. Now this again six kilonewton load is acting in upward direction. So if this is minus six and this is six acting in upward direction, so it will become zero. So I move this into the zero position. Again, there is no load on this beam. so this will be a straight line the shear force will be a straight line here and then again there is a load of 6 kN so i will move this up up to the plus 6 now again there is a load of 2 kN per meter over the distance of 3 meter so 2 into 3 6 but this load is acting in downward direction so it will be minus 6 so plus 6 with minus 6 it will become 0 so 0 is here so i will bring it here there is 0 so this is the shear force diagram for this beam now to draw the bending moment diagram we will take help from the shear force diagram we will find the box area of the shear forces so we can draw the bending moment diagram the box area of this triangle so this this is a 3 meter we know this is 3 meter this is also 3 meter while this is 6 meter so the area of this box which is a negative because the reference line is 0 0 below is negative above is positive similarly here is above is positive and below is negative so this is the shear force box in negative direction so i have to find the area of this box so this is a triangle so this is a1 box and i have to find the area of triangle half base into height base is 3 meter and height is 6 3 multiplied by 6 but this act in negative direction so it will be negative so by multiplying i got minus 9 so minus 9 is the bending moment value so this is the 1 degree line of the shear force so it will be minus 9 here in negative direction and the unit will be kN meter so it will be a 2 degree line now there is no shear force diagram so it will be a straight line 
again this is a shear force diagram but it's acting in upward direction so it is a positive shear force diagram so it will be a positive value so let's suppose this is a2 is also a triangle so half base into height base is 3 meter and height is 6 it comes out to be plus 6 so now this we know that this value is minus 9 see if we add plus 9 so it will become 0 so we will have 0 here so we have 0 bending moment here at this point but this is a 1 degree line so this will be a 2 degree line a parabola because the bending moment diagram is always 1 degree greater than the shear force diagram hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram and don't forget to subscribe our channel for DD7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.